Hey guys, this is Shay with Chalkin' with Shay. Today we're going to do the back side of the pillow that we started yesterday. So, um, what I'm going to do is we still have, so this is what we started yesterday. Isn't it cute? And so um, I'm going to take the ink mat out and flip it around to the other side. <clears throat> okay, so this blank side is the side we want the sticky to go to. We're going to stick this back in here. All right, perfect. Okay, hi Stephanie. Okay, so you guys gave me some good ideas yesterday on what to put on the other side. Um, Stephanie, here's what it looks like. Oops, it's upside down. Oh my. Yes, I have to make sure I don't do that upside down. It's so cute. And I wanted to show you the believe part. Um, so yesterday I accidentally used chalk paste on that instead of the ink. And that's why when I pulled the transfer up, it didn't like it didn't totally sink in. And so I had to do it a second time. And the second time that I did it, it looked much better. And then I also fixed Rudolph's nose. So that looks really good. I love the noses on these cute little, hey Kristen, on these cute little reindeer. So we are going to do the back side today. And someone suggested the truck and I love that idea. Um, my only question is when I go to do the second layer, I'm almost kind of afraid that I'm going to have to wait for the first level to completely dry before I put the second layer on. And I don't really want to have to do that because I want to show you guys the whole thing. Hey, do you guys like my shirt? I thought it was totally appropriate for today because we got lots of snow last night. And so our trees, our streets, everything is completely snow covered. It's just beautiful. That I don't need to just wear this at Christmas time. I can wear it the whole winter long whenever we get snow. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to make the truck red and black. And now I'm questioning. I think I'm going to do the bottom part black and the top part red. Um, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. Okay, and then also I'm going to, on the, end, on the bed of the truck, we're going to have some fun Christmas trees. Uh, let's see, random question. What do you put your phone on for your live? So I use the Archon mount. I think that's what it's called. There's links for that on the team page. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use uh, these trees to go in the bed of the truck. And then I'm going to use these trees to go on the side. So I'm going to put some on each side. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and then I also have, I was thinking I could put this up at the top, Joyful Christmas. Hi, Debbie. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with this piece. I hope you guys... There we go. Hopefully you can see that a little better. All right, so this is going to be black. And I hope that this does not bleed. Um, where did all my towels go? Oh, here they are. Um, 
I'm a little worried that it might bleed because it's such a big silk screen part. But hopefully it'll be okay. <clears throat> Debbie, how do you and your kids like um, all this snow? It's not a ton of snow. It's only three inches, but how do they like it? Hi, Colleen. Thanks for joining us. part about this weather that I hate is when my kids have to be driving in it and my one kid had to drive all the way up to Wright State so that part I do not like but the highways were just fine it was just the neighborhood that was a little sketchy and it really wasn't so bad Okay, so some parts did not go, but um, this is probably going to get covered up when I do the red part of the truck. Okay, so I'm going to put the black away. So now, pretty is the hair dryer. Let's see, your three-year-old daughter kept singing the Frozen song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? That's adorable. So we just got Disney Plus today. Do you guys know what that is? So um, I was going to watch Cars first because that was, that was probably my all-time favorite just because you know my my youngest was like four years old when that came out and we loved that movie so so much I mean it was it's been an all-time favorite movie but it just feels like a frozen day because it's so so cold I think it's like it's down to 19 degrees hi Ruth Thanks for joining us. This actually feels pretty dry already. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some trees first and wait for this to dry a little bit more before I go on to make other trees. Actually, we're going to have that layering issue with this whole entire project. So... I will do as much as I can do tonight and then let everything dry. This one is not labeled one and two, nor is that one. So I guess I'm just going to guess. I will do this guy first. Actually, you know what I'm thinking about? Um, hang on, I'm going to grab another transfer.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had trouble finding what I was looking for. So I've got a couple of options. I can do I'll Be Home for Christmas, which actually, now that I am looking at it on this pillow, I think this is a little too big. So what I could do instead is I'm dreaming of a farmhouse Christmas. Or I can stick with Joyful Christmas. All right, do you guys have any thoughts? I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna do Joyful Christmas because I, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I think it'll match better with the Believe. All right, I'm just gonna do that. All right, let's get started here. Okay, so we're going to use a small squeegee. Let me make sure you guys can see. There we go. Guys, just yell at me if I ever, like if you ever cannot see what I'm working on, just call out and let me know. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to do is wash this first before doing it again, because I think yesterday I didn't wash it in between, and then it left some streaks. gonna grab some Clorox wipes. Whoops. Okay. Dry that off and then bring this back. I better dry this. This one feels pretty wet. This one is actually pretty dry. This one I'm going to raise a little bit so that it kind of has a 3D look. Let me make sure you guys can see okay. Is 
Is anybody new to Chalk Couture? Hey, Kristen. Anybody here who has not ever seen this before? If you are new, comment below so that I can give you some information. Okay. That one is done. I'm going to stick that in my bucket of water and I might use it over here on the left a little bit later. Okay, but for now we got to get these guys dried. And I might not be able to put the second layer on this just yet. I might have to do that tomorrow after it dries. I think we're ready to put the second layer on the truck. This is going to be a really fun Christmas pillow. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the joyful Christmas first. I'm going to slant this a little bit. And I think we're going to be done with this for now. And when we go to do a second layer, I'm going to do this eucalyptus color. Okay, so we're going to use the gold, the shimmer gold. Did the snow stick? Yes, we got three inches of snow. I was very excited. If you guys know me, you know I love my snow. Except I don't love driving in it, and I don't like it when my kids have to drive in it. I like it the best when everyone is at home, stuck inside. I had to go out in it too. I had a hair appointment 30 miles away at nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna, okay. I think you guys can see that a little better. Very pretty, very, very pretty. I really like it. So Kristen, have you lived in Florida your whole life or a lot of it? I can't remember where you're from. I know you're in Tampa now. I would actually really, really miss the snow, but I could be, I could be talked into getting a summer home. Oh my gosh, I think I just got green ink all over me. <laughs> um, oh, born and raised in Illinois. Okay, so I've got family in Illinois. My brother lives there and his three kids and wife, ex-wife but still my sister-in-law.
which part of Illinois? They're from Naperville. And you, oh, Colorado. Were you anywhere near Denver? It's so pretty out there. This joy, you guys can't tell, but this joyful Christmas is gorgeous. I hope that I left enough room for the top of the, oh no, I might have, um, okay, I think we're going to be okay. Thought I might, Colorado Springs, okay, so that's right there by the Air Force Base. That is a really beautiful area of town too, or area of the state. So um, when I was in high school, I was dating a guy who went off to the Air Force Academy. So he was there at the base. And I actually went out to visit him. Um, I don't remember what year, maybe my freshman year or no, I think it was my sophomore year of college. Okay. All right, so here's where we're going to need some tape because it's real close to the edge there and I don't want to go off. And somebody was actually asking me the last time I used this tape, and I don't know if it was anybody who um, is here on this call now or if it's anybody who might listen to the replay, but someone was asking if you could use um, painter's tape instead. The answer to that is yes, but our tape has little measurement lines on it, and so you can totally measure out, you know, certain things that you might be using it for. I am not using it for that purpose right now, so I could just use painter's tape, but this is easier for me. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit right here for the top because I want to make sure I don't go outside of the lines. Okay, so I wish that I had a deeper color red, but this is going to have to do. Oh gosh, this is really close to the edge here too. This is like literally right on top. This is like right on the edge. Usually I outline the truck in black and I do the color down here, down at that part. This is the first Oh gosh, I just got it all over. This is the first time I've done that bottom part black. So I'll be interested to see how this looks. But I wanted a red truck, so I figured that was my best way of doing that. Okay, and over here I need some more tape. And actually I'm going to grab a different squeegee because this one has ink all over it. use a mini for the rest of this. I really love this truck. 
You can do this truck so many different ways with our little add-on transfers. Um, I just love it so much. Okay, so we'll take the tape off. And there it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so we are done with the red. And I want to clean this up a little bit. I got a bunch on the sides. Want to make sure you get that all off so you don't waste any. Okay, so let's see where we're at. So this truck has a little vintage-y look, which I think is really cool. It's missing some ink in certain areas, but that gives it a really great vintage look. Um, so I am going to dry this. it feels pretty wet still does the trees also feel wet um, I think I will try to put a second layer on here we'll try the trees and then maybe by the time we're done with the trees and actually I'm going to grab out that other tree and I'm gonna make another tree Okay. Hope you guys are able to see everything. Okay. 
And actually, Debbie, I think yesterday you had suggested some snowflakes. And I think that I'm going to have plenty of space for snowflakes, too. So once I get this whole thing done, I can then put a bunch of snowflakes on here. That'll look really cool. All right, so we have our tree. Okay, so I can put this guy, I can put it a little bit off to the side. like that. Actually, I'm not going to do that just yet um, because I'm not sure how far out that's, that tree is going to come. So I'm going to save that for a few minutes and we're going to add this second layer. Make sure you guys, there we go, you can see Okay, I hope this is not a mistake. We don't have quite as many colors of ink as we do chalk. Um, but we still have a pretty good selection. Oh, it worked perfect. I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm going to clean this off. turned out really good. Be able to see it? Yeah. All right. That turned out great, too. Thank you, Debbie. I'm glad you like it. Okay. So, that is done. Now, let's see if we can add the other tree. I'm just going to dry this a little bit more. If I was not doing this live, I would probably wait several hours in between each layer. But I like for you guys to be able to see the whole thing. I 
think the snowflakes will give it a really good touch. Okay, so we have two trees here. Or, well, I mean, layers. Where's the second layer? Here it is. Actually, we have three layers, but I'm just going to use two. I think we'll be okay. Okay, I have it lined up right to the top of the bed of that truck. And then we're gonna get, get all the bubbles out. We're gonna use the dark, dark green. And I am almost out of small squeegees. I'm super excited. This is turning out really good. I have to use my left hand. Here's the reveal. Oh, it looks so awesome. We've done good. Okay, so next, I, I'm not going to be able to do the second layer with you guys here, but here it is. So I just stick that right on top. And I could do the snowflakes, but um, let me see. Let me go get the snowflakes. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure where those are. I'm gonna have to go search for those. So. Um, I'm just going to finish this later, probably tomorrow, because I want this to dry real good. And I'm going to find all of the other pieces to add to it. Like we have these cute little axes that I could throw on there. Uh, but I want to do a little research first and make sure that I'm doing it right. But I love it. Tell me what you guys think. Is it very cool? It definitely needs more though. It needs like snowflakes or something. Um, so I'm gonna have to play around with that and see. And then on the back of this is what we did yesterday. So I'm super excited. All right, um, well guys, thank you for watching tonight. And um, if anybody is actually interested and getting some free products, you might want to consider doing a class at your house where you can invite your friends and I will come and give you guys a demo and so you can learn and get free products at the same time. That's always a pretty cool thing. Um, and if you don't want to do it at your house, I can handle up to six people at my house. So if you live in the Cincinnati Dayton area, and you would like to do that, just let me know. Send me a message and then we can talk about it. So um, that's always a great way to get introduced to the product. Um, I actually have one coming up on Saturday. So, And um, things are really starting to book up for December. So if you're interested in doing one for December, I, don't, I can't do any more for November, but if you'd like to do some in December, let me know quickly because I 
we'll have to get that booked right away because my calendar is almost full. So um, thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.